Hey there, folks. Today, I'm going to share with you the details of a French melodrama from 1990 known as The Hairdresser's Husband. The inception of this tale occurred during Antoine's early childhood. The mother knitted woolen swimming trunks with pom-poms depicting cherries for him and his brother. The problem was that these swim trunks never dried. Because the boys were always splashing in the water, the yard stayed wet throughout the entire day. As a result, he got irritated and walked with his legs wide apart. He was very angry with his mother, but at the same time grateful to her. Because of this, he realized that male dignity needs to be taken care of. He was approximately 12 years old, and he adored going to the hairdresser because the owner appeared exceptionally beautiful in the eyes of the young boy. A lush woman who was not shy about unbuttoning the top buttons of her robe so strongly attracted Antoine that he would go even when there was nothing left to cut, just to spend a few cherished minutes in the chair. The woman washed and cut his hair. The boy inhaled the unique mixture of smells, lotions, colognes, fresh laundry, and the lady's body, and imagined that he was holding her in his arms. Once during dinner, the father asks his sons what they plan to do when they grow up. The older guy talks about the professions he chose, and Antoine declares that he will marry a hairdresser, for which he receives a crack from his parent and runs away to the room. Since then, the dream of marrying a hairdresser becomes the main thing in the boy's life, and he can't think of anything else. Years pass. In the town where Antoine lives, the owner of the hair salon is changing. Now it is managed by a lovely young woman. She also serves customers. Antoine enters the hair salon and asks to cut his hair. But Matilda is waiting for another client and can only accept a man in an hour. Antoine recalls his father once saying a woman, like a crossword puzzle, the harder she is to solve, the sweeter she is, when she quits. Without comprehension, the man still recalled his dad's knowledge. He's getting sent back to the present once more. The man hid behind the corner for a long time, watching the empty salon into which no one came. Antoine fell in love for the second time. Now he was firmly convinced he would marry a hairdresser. A man remembers how once, coming for a haircut, little Antoine runs into a locked door. The object of his admiration is lying on the couch and apparently sleeping. With a pounding heart, the guy examines her legs, exposed higher than necessary. And suddenly the dog woman pushes her and the blonde's body falls to the floor. The guy doesn't have time to realize what happened. People come and, breaking down the door, take the hairdresser out onto the street. The woman drank too much alcohol and passed away. The guy, of course, was not at the funeral, but since that day he couldn't stop thinking about the woman. Anton returns from his memories and unexpectedly proposes to the girl without even knowing her name. Matilda stops. Just for a second, and then continues to cut without saying another word. Leaving, Antoine apologizes to the hairdresser for his impudence and stays overnight under the window of the girl who lives right above the salon. Antoine recalls the way his father used to tell him that there are no dreams that are impossible to achieve. If he didn't achieve it, it means he didn't want it much. Three weeks later, Antoine returns to the salon. Matilda is friendly and polite with the client, but they do not talk anymore during the haircut. Once Matilda can't stand it and returns to Antoine's words herself. The girl tells him that if it wasn't a joke or a mockery, she is ready to accept his proposal. At this moment, Antoine feels like the same little boy whose dream has finally come true, and the couple immediately finds themselves on a couch for waiting, where they call each other by their names, talk about their interests, and make plans for their life together. And then the girl invites him to her room upstairs, learning that the son still... Marry a hairdresser. His elderly father is dying of a heart attack. The mother also does not come to the wedding and refuses to meet the bride. A festive evening is arranged right in the hairdressers, and only Antoine's brother with his wife and his old friend come to it. But few guests don't stop the company from having fun. Brother gives Antoine a gift that makes everyone laugh. Knitted swim trunks with pom-poms. Exactly the same as they were in their childhood, and from his mother he transmits a black and white photograph which depicts Antoine with his father. During the party, a random client enters the hair salon and asks Matilda to shave his beard, as people think he looks too gloomy with it. Initially, noticing his inconvenient arrival, the visitor desires to depart, but Matilda joyfully shaves him, even without accepting payment. But seeing his new face in the mirror, the client gets upset. It got even worse. Antoine turns on his favorite Indian music and invites his bride to dance. 
looking at the clock in anticipation, waiting for the guests to leave so that they could finally be alone. The couple's relationship can be called fairy tale. For their honeymoon, he took her to the very beach where he used to wear woolen swim trunks. But the honeymoon was very short. He couldn't wait to start a family life with his beloved woman. The newlyweds returned to the hair salon. Matilda continued to cut, and Antoine spends all his free time with his beautiful wife. On one of the usual days, a quirky man rushes into the salon and jumps into the chair as if trying to hide. His wife follows him, and the couple experiences a highly emotional scene involving slaps and intense glances. All, including the upset husband, are pleased. They have three kids, but his wife is still jealous of him. Antoine, unable to wait for the workday to end, quickly closes the door and passionately embraces his wife against the wall. Matilda, in moments of joy, has expressed her fear of her husband's love fading. Or he will lose interest. A woman comes to the hairdresser with a crying boy who needs a haircut. The visitor constantly complains to Matilda that the boy is adopted. She has regretted her decision many times and does not advise the couple to make the same mistake. The boy curls up under the chair and his mother can't calm him down. But Antoine finds an approach to him. He integrates Indian music and dances into the performance to quiet the man and enable him to find clarity and inner peace. Antoine is glad they don't have kids and nothing will ruin the shape of his beautiful wife. They do not have any friends. He always found couples who need the company of other people suspicious. There are no close family members, so they can dedicate all of their time to one another. They're happy, the rest doesn't matter. He invites Matilda to dance, promises to buy a lottery ticket, win, take her on a Nile cruise. They'll dance on the deck, hugging, watching the sunset. Matilda fears her husband will lose the book and desires and interests. Sometimes she asks Antoine to hug her so tightly that she can't breathe. The man does not understand where his wife's fears come from because he never stops admiring her and desiring her. Once he even takes advantage of the fact that the client to whom Matilda washes her head starts to doze off and sitting down next to his wife, Antoine removes all the excess from her and brings her joy, giving his wife positive emotions. For 10 years of living together, the couple had only one argument and that was for some ridiculous reason. Alone, Antoine smokes one after another, reminiscing about how he and his brother first tried cigarettes. But at night, Matilda comes for her husband, and they make peace, not wanting to waste time on quarrels. To finally make peace, the spouses throw a party for themselves. And since there are absolutely no alcoholic beverages in the house, they use lotions and cologne. Couples have such a great time that by the time the first clients arrive, they don't have time to clean up the salon or get themselves in order. Antoine and Matilda visit their friend. In the nursing home, where a man much older than Antoine speaks of the transience of old age and how his relatives, who come to visit him, quickly run away as soon as they appear before his eyes. After the spouses visit, they return to work and this day is no different from any other. But the girl seems a little mysterious. As soon as the last visitors leave the hairdressers, a thunderstorm and heavy rain begin outside, which makes it almost impossible to see anything. To save time, Matilda gets rid of unnecessary clothes and demands joy from her husband. The couple is having another intimate evening, but at some point the girl jumps up and runs off into the downpour, shouting to her husband she needs to buy dinner. At the exit, she turns to Antoine as if saying goodbye to him. Having reached the embankment where the water rose sharply and roared from the downpour, Matilda, without hesitation, takes a step beyond the fence. When her body is pulled out of the water, a note for Antoine is found in her pocket. In it, Matilda explains her action. To those that she desired to depart from before the love and longing for her spouse comes to an end. She desires him to recall her as youthful, attractive and alluring. It appears that nothing alters in Antoine's existence. He still sits calmly in the hair salon every day, once a client comes to him, who is aware of the old man's trouble, and just wanted to support him. First, Antoine suggests that he wash his head, then he turns on his favorite Indian music and the men dance together, but then the old man abruptly turns everything off and returns to his place, burying himself in a magazine. Looking up at the surprised visitor, Antoine smiles and informs him that the hairdresser will arrive shortly, so he just needs to wait a little while longer. Sad and funny, crushing and absurd, and a very touching film about peculiar individuals who adore one another as though there were merely a pair of them in the entirety of the globe. Friends, thanks for watching. Comment your thoughts on this movie. And please remember to support us with likes and subscriptions.